Well, after high school, I want to go to a good college where I can um, own my own business because that's what I want to do. I want to own my own business so I can help out more people with jobs and stuff. It's definitely a national problem, just that students who typically come from low-income backgrounds have been shortchanged by our public education system. Well, I actually want to go to LSU for a pre-law major. I couldn't believe that public schools didn't have the freedom to hire and fire their own teachers, that a principal uh, didn't have the ability to pick the curriculum and the books. Well, I want to go to Carlo University, and why I want to go there is because one of my teachers inspired me to go there. There is no magic solution to urban education. It really is just a matter of rolling up your sleeves and saying, we're going to do whatever it takes. In a charter school uh, environment, it's a clean slate. Okay, we need to rebuild education. We need to figure out how we're going to do, do school post-Katrina in New Orleans. What we were doing before the storm wasn't, wasn't working. There's got to be some changes we can make. With a charter school, you're, bas you're basically making a promise. And it's saying, if you give me support in terms of public dollars for education, I will do these things for the students in the community that, you, that I will serve. It's about educating communities and families and parents and citizens about what a charter school is. Because I have, I've heard a lot of people say, no, I support public schools. We are a public school. In every sense of the word, we are a public school. Any student from New Orleans can come here for a free education. We're a public school, we have public funding. The difference, it's a matter of how it's organized and where the autonomy is to decide how it's run. What's cool about uh, what we're doing here and what other charter schools are doing is that we're coming up with innovative or our individual way of getting to college in 2016 and 2015. From a curriculum standpoint, there's the ability with a, in a charter to tailor it to the kids and what the kids need. We have the autonomy, we have the ability to craft the program that we need to do to give our kids the experiences that they need. This is the goal and you can get there anyway, but kids need to be learning and they need to be making their way to college. Make it happen. If something needs to change, you can read about it, talk about it, work it out, okay, it needs to happen. Having a team of educators who share the same vision, willing to reflect, willing to debate certain issues, coming from different backgrounds across the nation, come to the table for the one, one common goal, which is simply to empower students. If we have a student that needs to, you know, after school and needs more work and needs tutoring and dinner, then we're going to do that for them and we're going to get it taken care of. We're literally changing the trajectory of our kids' lives. Our motto here at Langston Hills Academy is dream it, do it, be it. Our kids are happy, um, they feel safe, they know that their teachers care about them. They make learning more fun than all the other schools I've been to and I really like that because I really get it and once they put it on the board I was like, oh, now that's how I know. And so it was, it's pretty cool how they do it. Student achievement levels are up only after, you know, a year of really restarting the school system. Almost across the board you saw double digit gains, which is exciting. You'll learn a lot of things that you like never experienced before and they're teaching a fun way where you'll be so excited to learn. These, these guys are amazing, and that's the thing. Like, the kids always have been amazing, right? Like, it's, not, it's not the kids. It's, it's the opportunities and the structure and giving them the, the environment for, for them to flourish. The work that we do is based on a promise that we make to parents and students. We're going to promise you that if you stick with us and if you do the work that's asked of you, you'll be ready for a great high school and, great, and a great college. Nothing like this has ever been done before, but you definitely can see in the cities that have a higher education level that there tends to be less crime and you know higher incomes. And uh, I would expect that to happen. How long? You know, true significant change. I think I think you'll be able to see something in five years, but I think realistically, ten years to see real, real change, like dramatic change. New Orleans Public Schools had 5% graduating with a four-year college degree. If 10 years down the road from now, 
15, 20 years down from the road from now, all of a sudden that number instead of 5% is 90%, then you have the most dynamic workforce citizenry. Like you have, I get, I definitely get shivers and get chills just thinking about if we all could do this, if we can lift the level of all schools. I really believe that it starts in educating, properly educating our kids. And I think that we will we'll probably see um, a decrease in teenage pregnancies, a decrease in poverty eventually, a decrease in crime. We can see it, I can see it with our kids. So it's one of those things like I can see it coming, but we have to be in it for the long haul to see it out and make sure that we get to that point where kids are no longer selling drugs because they are educated and they actually have, you know, multiple offers when they graduate high school to go to college and when they graduate college to go become an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. I mean, all the other issues that New Orleans sits and tries to tackle, all of a sudden you have you have all your future leaders who have gone through the struggles of New Orleans, who were a part of Katrina, that saw the problems. You can ask our students, what do you want, what does be the change New Orleans mean to you? And they will rattle off the things that they hope to do with their lives in order to impact the city in really meaningful ways. And if our students, if we meet the promises to our students and they're in positions to have these doors open and to do these things, that is the rebirth of a city.